we're back. Hi. Well, I don't know if you'll see these back to back, but we just did a lot of the movie. Now we're going to review a movie. A movie. movie. We don't often go to see movies, but in we went to see this one That's in right. a movie theater. Here. We went to the Regal in Raleigh, right off Lynn Road, right off 70, a few clicks north of, uh, or east, northwest of Crabtree Valley Mall. <clears throat> nice theater. Yeah, a very nice theater. They don't have reclining seats, though. But that's okay. It was still nice. Yeah, it's still comfy. Believe me, uh, we and the three other people who watched that movie <laughs> at had plenty of room, in the morning. Had plenty of room to you know, <laughs> relax and you know, That's right. didn't feel crowded. That's right. It was the movie theater was really crowded. Yeah, of course they've got the building, but they have four, like fourteen screens or something. Right, and so they had the movie we went to see was the current war. The current war. And not um, the one in Afghanistan. No, not our current war. current war. We're talking about electrical current. That's right. And so you walk past all these people who are going to go see the Joker and all these other movies and then they were at the back of the theater. Current war. But we really enjoyed that movie. Yes. It's worth going to see. It's mostly accurate in fact it is fairly accurate except for the scenes where it depicts uh, Edison talking to Westinghouse which never really happened but. The, the basis of the movie is <coughs> Thomas Edison and Westinghouse I think it's George George Westinghouse I think it was um, and Somewhat Tesla were in this Nikolai Tesla, Nikolai Tesla were in this uh, race, somewhat to bring the grid to the United States. And Thomas Edison had his ideas and views on it. Westinghouse had his ideas, and then Tesla was just kind of out there. <laughs> no, he just didn't better. That's right. He wasn't. So he worked for Edison first, and then he worked right. for Westinghouse later. And uh, Edison had the backing of uh, J.P. Morgan, right? Right. And Westinghouse looks like looked like he could finance his own thing. <laughs> really did. Yeah. Uh, and so they're they're trying to get their ideas and ways across and in the end Westinghouse well Edison wanted DC current right and Westinghouse wanted, wanted AC, AC current and for the simple reason that there were transformers the problem with DC current was not that it doesn't work it's just a when you wanted to transmit 12 volts, but you could only power a line for a mile with AC because you didn't need to have transformers. And so, if uh, with AC current, you could use a transformer, step the voltage way up, and cut the current way down, and that cuts down on the, the resistance and the bleed. And so, you don't get the power loss. And so that's why AC was better. One, because it was inherently better. It's just because of the technology that was available at the time. So they go back and forth. You have to watch the movie to see how it is. Yeah. We won't do a spoiler alert. But one thing that I took away from it <laughs> was Westinghouse seemed like a very kind and generous man in a time where the wealthy moguls of the United States were hitting it hard. I mean, 
mean, that's just something that came across to me. Yeah. You know, when you think of the Rockefellers and you think of um, J.P. Morgan and the Vanderbilts and all those, and Westinghouse was... Just seemed like a nice guy. A humanitarian. Very principled. Yeah, yeah. So, and Edison was kind of a jerk. Yeah. They, I mean, and I, and I love the person who played the character, and I always get his name wrong. Benedict. Cumberbatch. Yes, he played Sherlock Holmes. I love him as an actor. He played Edison. And the guy who played Westinghouse was Michael Sutton. Was that his name? I, I don't remember. If you saw him, you would know him. And I have, I don't know that I've ever seen anything that the guy that played Tesla no. was in. But, well worth going to see the movie, no. at least when Netflix has it, rent it, watch it, whatever, because it's well worth it. Um, it's our kind of genre, our kind of show. So anyhow, there you have it. We gave it five thumbs up. <laughs> we don't do enough thumbs. We give it four thumbs up. <laughs> Not a four. <laughs> That's right. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Give okay. us four thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Meet our friends. And we will catch you on the next video.